Hey, superstars. It is your pal, Danny Katz, the author of Pop Propaganda, an Illustrated Guide, here with a very special announcement about this very book. Pop Propaganda has received a much needed upgrade. I have been wanting to upgrade this book for two years. And because of a whole big batch of not at all interesting <laughs> reasons slash excuses, it took me two years to execute. So let me give you some backstory about how this awesome book came to be. The year was 2021. The world had gone completely batshit crazy and we were under hard ass lockdown. I was teaching my very first pop propaganda homeschool course for teens. And we were using the Bernays book as our textbook, which don't get me wrong, it's a great book and it wasn't really fun for teenagers. As soon as I was done teaching the class, I got hit with the bioweapon. And while I was down, I figured, well, let me take this opportunity to create an illustrated guide to propaganda a because there's a hole in the marketplace and we don't have anything that's fun slash appropriate for teens to learn about propaganda and i can use it as the textbook for my ongoing pop propaganda courses now with everything that i do i am extremely type a cancel clear delete i <laughs> have historically run some type A tendencies around my writing. So I stand by every word of this book and really put my heart and soul into writing it. When it came to the illustrations, I was of the mindset of like, this psyop is lame. This whole sham show is lame. And I'm not going to like tie myself into knots perfecting all of these illustrations for such a dumb psyop. So I decided it was going to be first drafts and like these really rough scribbles. And I was like, that's good enough. Right. Um, so that was kind of how pop propaganda came to be. I published it. I was super proud of it. And I sent copies to specific friends of mine and people with whom I was working as thank you gifts. I sent a copy to my web guy in Los Angeles, who definitely has different political and social leanings than I have. And he said, you know, I noticed that you only included liberal um, publications in your mainstream media illustration, but it was a complete mistake and oversight that the illustration that made it into the final copy of pop propaganda actually did only have left leaning papers and that he was right. Like I didn't feel good about that. So I pulled the, the other illustration that I already had at the ready and I'm going to show you guys what it is. And like, I made the adjustments. I thought on the back end of my publishing, but it turned into this like, oh, you have like 5,000 errors in your book, so you have to fix everything. And at the time I was like, yeah, no, I'm not doing that. So this is the new mainstream media image, which actually isn't new. It was the one that was supposed to be there the whole time, which um, gives a more accurate full spectrum kind of taste of how coordinated and controlled the media is by six corporations, which brings me to change number two, also with the MSM page. So I was listening to a lot of No Agenda at the time. I mean, I'm st I still am. And very often, John and Adam will refer, refer to the MSM, mainstream media, as the M5M. In my bioweapon delirium, and the rush of like busting out a whole book in three weeks, I shorthanded the mainstream media, the M5M. And then I guess to make it work in my mind, I wrote that the media was controlled by five corporations. It's factually inaccurate, which has been eating at me for two years. I don't like having those type of errors out in the world. So as long as I was making the changes, I went ahead and I updated the text for the mainstream media page, which now more correctly reads MSM instead of M5M. And the phrase references the super very controlled media outlets owned by one of the six corporations 
that run them. So that felt so good to change those. So these are the upgrades that I've made to the illustrated guide to propaganda. And while I have your attention and I'm alerting you to the upgrades, I thought that I would share the backstory to a couple other images that I get the most questions about from brilliant people like you. So this is the Egregious Associations illustration. Egregious Associations is a propaganda technique wherein the media or the social engineers will link certain ideas together such that they become inextricably bound in the public's mind, um, as in this case. So in this case, we have Q, which is short for um, QAnon, which the media has twisted into the QAnon cult. I don't know, they went crazy with it. Um, how Q has now become inextricably bound to MAGA Republicans, who have themselves become inextricably bound, these are chains in case my photorealistic renderings aren't entirely clear, inextricably bound to Nazis, which have become inextricably bound to anti-vax, Again, we're using the language of the media. I would never use these terms, which has become inextricably bound with crazy conspiracy theorists, right? CCT, which is another entry in the Illustrated Guide to Propaganda, um, and how crazy conspiracy theorists are ever and always linked to flat Earth. Last one that you're going to get the backstory on, because it's the holidays and I love you and we're welcome, op. So this is the illustration for OP, OP, which is short for operation, like the various sort of like agendas, narratives, larger like plans and projects that the social engineers are using propaganda to prop up. And this is probably the image I get the most questions about. And again, remember, all of these illustrations were trifles. They were just like, let me poop out some you know sketchy spazzy line drawing because that's all that this sham show actually deserves of me that's all they're getting i really love this one so here we have our little like intelligence officer explaining the op to the various minions um and here is here's what these things mean so this symbol is in my mind is the symbol for a secret society it's not quite the masons it's not quite priory of sion or scion or the templars or the rosicrucians right it's just like we'll make it a universal symbol for secret society right so then from here we have <laughs> I don't know why it's so hard for people to tell what I was intending here. This is um, the faked moon landing. I'm not saying the moon landing is fake. I don't really know. I wasn't there. But this is, this is what is being illustrated in this particular image. So here we have the camera and this moon-shaped object. And then we jump, we go back here for this one. So uh, to the Twin Towers, right? So here we have the 9-11. Twin Towers op. And then this, this leads us into this one. Now, this is weather manipulation. These are um, the wildfires in the um, hills of California. And then we go down to here, and this is the number crunching, the very creative number crunching that went on during the COVID virus. And then from here, we move into the Black Lives Matter Antifa. Op. Just wanted to give you guys the, the inside skinny and to remind you that pop propaganda has received a much needed upgrade that both my book and myself are really happy about. It is on sale now on Amazon. I'm thinking of turning it into a digital book. Give me your feedback. Let me know if you would be interested in a digital version of pop propaganda that would help light a fire under my butt and make it happen all the sooner. As I said, it is available now. The corresponding course, Pop Propaganda, is in the process of being digitized. It will launch in January of 2024. It is appropriate for teens 14 and up, um, and that includes grown-ups. It is available now for pre-sale. If you want to gift it to someone for the holidays, that is all I've got for now in the pop propaganda news realm. 
Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the flip side. I loved how you kind of like jumped around and were just talking because you liked talking about it. I could tell that you were interested in the subject and you weren't kind of robotic. So you're were, you were a really good teacher. I just think thanks for this class. I didn't oh. think I would enjoy it as much as I did. So.